Did you know that 90% of the world's nutrition is pollinated by bees? Furthermore, the global bee population drastically decreased by 40% in 2019. My name is Megan Nash, and I am the owner of Busy Bees, located in Aberdeen. This issue inspires Busy Bees, a beekeeping business, to oversee a renting of beehives to landowners. For landowners granting us land use, they will receive one fourth of their respective hives honey production, with remaining production sold by Busy Bees. By directly appealing to younger individuals and families, Busy Bees brings opportunity directly to landowners. Ultimately, Busy Bees strives to empower individuals to make intentional efforts to better the world, one Busy Bee at a time. So at Busy Bees, the main products and service we are going to offer will be our honey sales. For, we will sell um, 16 ounces of honey for $8, and bees of wax will be $9 a pound. We will also offer beehive rentals. So the pro process of renting a beehive is as follows. So the landowner will first contact Busy Bees with a request for the number of beehives under the assumption that they will provide the land for the bees. On the other hand, Busy Bees will conduct care, assessments, and harvest honey for the bees throughout the year. And the next step is that the landowner will receive one fourth of the final honey production and Busy Bees will sell the remaining three fourths of production. So our primary market opportunity to properly place and implement Busy Bees, I first looked at industry characteristics. So as those two bullet points show the apiculture and beekeeping market are projected to rapidly grow and we already have a steady um, demand for the products. I also looked at customer characteristics. We are going to target middle-class families, older individuals, and environmentally conscious individuals. The factors that will affect our pricing will be weather patterns, production costs, as well as competitor prices. And our main means of promotion will be by word of mouth, farmer's market, website, and our grocery stores. So upon conducting a partial SWOT analysis of competition and Busy Bees, it was determined that Busy Bees greatest strength is the way in which our business operates that really establishes that connection with the consumer. And our competitors, which are large production bee farms, their greatest strength is their large scale production, which contributes to profitability. Busy Bees greatest weakness is that the profit is heavily dependent on honey production and bee health and also the climate of South Dakota, as it does get a little bit cold here in the winter. And our competitors' largest weakness is that with their large production, disease can spread rapidly in, in those large production settings and weaken the health of the bees and ultimately decrease their profit. So our competitive advantages are that we bring beekeeping directly to landowners with simplicity and personal relations. And we also are directly benefiting the community because products will be locally produced and packaged. Therefore, Busy Bees will be able to successfully penetrate the market. So Busy Bee operates at the cornerstone of having key people such as beekeeper and office manager as well as seasonal hires for honey harvest, having key skills that these people must be responsible, organized, exhibit strong communication skills, and also having the proper facilities and technology. So that'll be, include the beehives, processing equipment, and other beekeeping supplies, as well as an office space. So for our startup funding, Busy Bees is going to request a loan of $245,000. This will cover our long-term assets and short-term assets for startup funding, the largest of which will be our building and renovations, as well as our beehive, our beehives, and then our operating cash. And then for our monthly overview of income and expenses, this is based off of Busy Bees having 500 hives a year, and each hive produces an approximate 100 pounds of honey per year. So that will be 50,000 total pounds of honey production. And Busy Bees will sell three fourths of that, so 37,750 pounds at $8 a pound. And this equates to about $302,000 annually. Additionally, we will sell Busy Bees from the beehives that is priced at $9 a pound, and we are projecting a total, in, total harvest of 1,000 pounds for yearly production, putting us at 9,000. So our total revenue is projected to be at 311,000. And our total product cost, that includes our hive cost, as well as our packaging and processing cost, which puts us at a net profit of $10,312. And furthermore, our break-even is at managing 475 hives, 
additional hives will yield profit. And please refer to our budget handout for additional expense information. So in summary, our projected net income for year one is $10,312. Our breakeven point is at managing 475 hives and the greatest opportunity for busy bees is the continuous expansion of hives busy bees could manage because of our simplistic business setup that really works with landowners to ultimately provide a better tomorrow. Thank you. What questions are there? Megan, didn't you do a presentation for us? Megan, didn't you do a presentation for us last year too? I did, yes. I thought so. I thought I recognized you. Good, good for doing that year after year. Thank Megan, you. question for you. I've been reading a lot, obviously, in the last few years about the decline of bees. Um, how Omni is that factor? collapse disorder. Okay, there you go. Leave it to Omni to tell us that. So he, anyway, he would know. He, uh, but how has that factored in, or how have you factored that in, I guess I should say, into your business model, uh, or how you go about trying, especially trying to expand? Mm -hmm. So that really that urgent need for more bees in the in society, because they tr truly are the foundation of agriculture, they pollinate, and it's, we can't have food production without bees. So really, I think that consumers are being are very aware of that problem in society, partly because of the media and just oh, keeping track of their surroundings, people know that there's a problem. So therefore, our busy bees is going to serve as that in, is that middleman for those people that really want to be a part of the solution? Megan, this is Paul. Well done. I like I like your visuals. I'm a visual person. Uh, have you did I miss or did you factor in winterizing? So when it freezes here, you transport them to Texas, where, whatever. Yep. So our plan for winter is actually that's one of our backup plans. But as of right now, you can actually if you have the proper equipment and you're really researched and you know what you're doing, you can actually winter hives in South Dakota. You just have to have that proper equipment. So we factor that into our budget and then we also factor a little bit of surplus in there because if we properly, if the bees are properly wintered, they will be able to withstand that cold conditions. So we just have to be able to properly implement that. Thank you. Megan, can, yeah, you, harvest, can, you, harvest, can you harvest all of the honey out of a hive or do you have to leave some for <laughs> like starter? <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of so we won't we won't be able to harvest all of the honey right away. We have to leave some just for the bees to have in there. So that's where that beekeeper is really going to be important. They're going to know precisely what needs to happen when the quantity that we are allowed to harvest to successfully implement the overall best health of the bees, as well as our business success. And Megan, could you switch out of uh, the share mode and go back to your face camera, please? Thanks, Megan. Yep. So, Megan, is this something you are actually considering doing, or? Um, I'm honestly not sure. As of this point, I am a junior, so I'm really open to a lot of possibilities in my future. And business does interest me, so this could always be a possibility. But I'm not set in stone yet. So you're, you don't have a family connection to the apiary industry or anything? This is a theoretical- I do not have a family connection, but we actually live on a farm and we have another business, like a beekeeping business. We do, they we rent out our land. So they put some hives on our land and in return, we get lots of honey, which is really nice. I know a lot of people in our community really enjoy that and they are really open to having that their own connection like that established. 